from a team that you know, had a good signing day in Miami, but not a great one, to a team that had an absolutely great one, and that's Oregon. So a couple days ago, they do lose more the quarterback to UCLA. That's a huge loss for an Oregon program that like that kid's a stud. I mean, he's you know top three rated player, really really good player. They go down to Baylor, and they take Austin Novosad away from Baylor, flip him. They stay in Texas. They get Peyton Bowen, five star or four star safety from Notre Dame. That's a really nice haul for Oregon. We were asked this on the show, if you took Dante Moore, right? So think of this through the NFL lens. Dante Moore, number three pick, right? Yeah. Potential first round guy. It's like Oregon traded back and then just added a bunch, right? They started the morning ranked 14th, I think, right now. They're number seven. Um, won some massive battles. DJ U's brother, uh, Mateo, Young Concrete is his nickname. <laughs> he picks the Ducks over USC and Ohio State. Uh, Peyton Bowen, we thought maybe Oklahoma would flip him from Notre Dame. He flips to Oregon to play for Dan Lanning. I, I, I love what they did. I mean, Steve Wiltfong kind of raised the flag a week ago, said, hey, they're going to be the most exciting team. And sure enough, they were. They shot up in the rankings. And I, I think it's a group that the new look Pac-12, right? USC, UCLA, they're on their way out. Well, now Oregon is going to be the cream of the crop there, right? Yeah. You, you would think if these guys pan out, it, it's going to be awesome. Oregon's desire to win a national championship before Phil Knight moves on, right? I mean, he's 82, 83, yeah. has been one of the worst kept secrets that's out there. I mean, they want to bring a championship there to Eugene. I think this is exactly why they bought Dan, uh, brought Dan Lanning out there. Young, energetic coach who has a good to great defensive mind, but more importantly, he's a good to great recruiter. And I think you're seeing some of the fruits of that right now. I mean, this is exactly why they brought him out there. Yeah, he worked – for Kirby Smart in Georgia. They've yeah. been in some heavyweights <laughs> battles, yeah. you know, yeah. in the alley in the 11th hour. Like, that's why he was there. And we kind of wondered, he's not a West Coast guy. How's he going to fit in there in Eugene? And we're seeing... And I think his first year, too, to have as much success. I know it's probably not the success they wanted towards the end of the season, but the fact they were in the Pac-12 championship race, the fact they got Bo Nix coming back, announcing that a couple weeks ago, I think all those kind of momentum plays absolutely played right. a part and, in this. And sure, we're in the... NIL era, right? All that drives conversation, but Oregon's still kind of cool to the kids because they got good facilities and yeah. sexy uniforms. Like yeah. I still think that matters like a little bit. There's no doubt about it. And look, Dan Lanning is, you know, he coached in the South, but he's not necessarily like, like a Southerner. So I think he actually plays better than maybe some people would think out there. And I think it's a savvy hire that he goes out to UTSA, Dan Lanning does, to get Will Stein, the offensive coordinator, as Kenny Dillingham leaves for Arizona State. Because like, where did Oregon have a ton of success today? In the state of Texas, I, I bet you that hire had some help there. Yeah, and Austin Novosad is a guy that probably isn't discussed a lot on the national level. He was an Elite 11 finalist. He can throw it all around the yard, someone I've been tracking for a long time, even though I'm in Florida just knowing about him. And Will Stein comes from UTSA. He probably knew he could never get Austin Novosad right. to be a roadrunner and, and play in the Alamo Dome. But, hey, now I'm at Oregon, and they snuck him in for an official visit, and boom. That got the morning started, 8 a.m. It, it, it really did. So I, I think you can see some big things coming for Oregon down the stretch. I expect them to be active in the transfer portal as well. You know, Nova Sad was a kid that AM wanted. It's a kid that Ohio well, State that, had interest that, in. That's the know? other thing. Yeah, he did the whole tour. He was committed to Baylor early on, did the whole tour in the summer and said, hey, I'm sticking with, yeah. with Baylor. And then there was another another a, a third recruitment essentially, and that he picks Oregon. Like that says a lot about again closing ability. Uh, in the 11th hour. It really does.